if you're into drifting, and I presume you are since you're on my channel, you've probably heard of Ebisu Circuit. Maybe you've heard that it is one of the most iconic drift tracks in Japan, or maybe you've heard that it's actually eight tracks carved out of a mountain site in Fukushima with a uh, zoo in the middle of it. Yes, there are elephants and tigers and lions there. Or maybe you've seen D1 drivers there, jumping Minami, maybe you've seen the crashes, maybe you've seen the, the crazy 10 car trains. No matter what you've heard, it's all true. <laughs> This was actually the first lap that I turned up the Matsuri at the Togia course in my new JZX100. I ended up buying a car from Andia Power Vehicles who's helped me out every single time I've been to Ebisu and this time, the time was right, I was buying a car. And it was everything I wanted it to be. <laughs> After a while, I started getting more comfortable and we started joining the epic trains. So the drift trains are, are 5 to 10 to 15 cars in a row. And it's the most fun you can have in a drift car and also a recipe for disaster. After surviving the drift trains, my good friend Josh Robinson and I started doing uh, some FD Formula Drift style practice sessions at the top of Minami. <laughs> Josh is a Pro 2 driver, great driver. He's been going to, to Abizu for years. This is actually where he learned how to drift. And that was a great session that is much more relevant to what I'm doing in FD. It's two cars. You're just trying to get up close, put some tire marks on the lead car's door, and we can go for lap after lap after lap. And with these cars being so low horsepower, a set of tires will last you 20, 25 laps. Amazing practice. This is exactly what I need for the upcoming FT season. Oh my God, babe, we're so freaking lucky. Right? <laughs> Awesome. Good seeing you out here. This is rad. So that was my first experience at the Drift Matsuri. And it was three awesome days of drifting, practicing, crashing, making some new friends, and having one hell of a time. Now, if you want to do this stuff for yourself, there's only really two ways of getting to drift at Ebisu. One is to get in with one of the tour providers, like Sideways Experience. They will get you a flight, they'll put you in practice cars, they have some of the best coaches around. 
Um, it'll run you around 10,000 Australian dollars, which is roughly eight, 9,000 American dollars, which is a lot of money, but these guys are gonna get you up to speed real quick. Now, if you wanna have a car at Ebisu and come back and come back again, you have to buy a car. A good car is gonna run you around five to 10,000 American dollars. And for that kind of money, you'll get a good S14, JZX90, JZX100, four-door Toyota. Maybe get one from Power Vehicles. That way they will help you service it. They have all the parts and all the know-how and everything you need to keep the car running, which is what you want when you spent all the money getting there. My episode video is now over. Let me know what you liked and didn't like. Comment below and subscribe if you like this stuff. And I'll get you more of this content real soon. After an epic couple days here at Ebisu, we are now hitting the road. Where are we heading? To, what is it called? Suzuka Twin. Ah, oh, there.